is because you can then misuse words like oppression. There has been no oppression for the white man in this country. You tell me which white men were dragged out of their homes. You tell me which one of them got dragged all the way across an ocean. Representative Jasmine Crockett unleashed a fiery rant on the floor of Congress, sparking accusations of racism. Let's check out what she said. And told that you are going to go at work. We are going to steal your wives. We are going to rape your wives. That didn't happen. That is oppression. We didn't ask to be here. We not the same migrants that y'all constantly come up against. We didn't run away from home. We were stolen. So yeah, we are going to sit here and be offended when you want to sit here and act like, and, and, and don't let it escape you that it is white men on this side of the aisle telling us, people of color on this side of the aisle, that, that y'all are the ones being oppressed. That y'all are the ones that are being harmed. What Representative Jasmine Crockett is saying taps into a lot of historical pain and frustration. But the way she frames it feels more like it's pouring gasoline on the fire of division rather than bridging the gap. Her points about slavery and historical oppression are absolutely valid. There's no denying the horrific injustices faced by black Americans throughout history. But using that context to shut down any other group's struggles today doesn't help move us forward. The reality is, no one is claiming that white men have faced the same systemic oppression as African Americans. But acknowledging that doesn't mean we dismiss the challenges others might be facing now, whether it's economic hardships, mental health issues, or social struggles. It's not a competition of who's been oppressed the most. It's about addressing the inequities everyone is dealing with and working together to make things better. Her tone also feels like it's fueling an us versus them mindset. While it's fair to call out hypocrisy or bad faith arguments, constantly framing these discussions as one side attacking the other only widens the divide. What we need is honest dialogue that recognizes the complexity of people's experiences. Yes, history matters, and we have to learn from it, but we also need to focus on building solutions that benefit everyone. If we keep framing every issue through the lens of race and oppression, we're never going to get to a place where we can work together. It's time to move past the divisiveness and start focusing on shared values and solutions for everyone, regardless of race or background. That's how real progress happens.